Hey, it's Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I want to show you just how easy it is to cook an air fryer spaghetti squash. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. Spaghetti squash in the air fryer is absolutely delicious. You just need one of these as well as some extra virgin olive oil spray, salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. But note, a lot of us have smaller air fryers and also because of the size of a spaghetti squash what is actually better is if you chop the end off and then you half it remove the seeds and then you can cook half in the air fryer at once and half of one of these big spaghetti squash is perfect for dinner with how much it makes and then it's like roasted spaghetti squash that you've cooked in the oven but of course a lot quicker and without a preheat well i thought that you deserved the professional treatment in this video so i'm now passing you over to my lovely chef husband dominic and he's actually going to show you how to slice it up how to easily remove the seed so that you can get it air frying and cooking right so i recommend also having a bowl on hand so that you can easily um, get rid of the seeds and then don't forget we also have a video for air fry spaghetti squash seeds and we'll be showing you also how to make use of those seeds that are in the middle. They are just absolutely amazing. So as you notice, he's taken the end off. The point here is that then it can be stood up and then it's so much easier to slice in half. Then you want to get your knife right in there. It is concerned for the air fryer, but well worth it for how delicious they are. Take it slowly and get your knife in. And wow, those are the spaghetti squashes and they look absolutely delicious. Spaghetti squash is one of my favourite foods for this time of year and I just can't wait to have it. And then of course, don't forget, the air fryer is amazing for cooking your meatballs in as well. And we've got loads and loads of meatball recipes over at RecipeThis.com for you to check out. It's easy enough to get the seeds out. And also, when you're doing it on a raw um, spaghetti squash, it's easier to go through all your seeds to find the ones you want to use. Whilst if it's been already cooked, it's so much harder. So then, if you look, we've got um the Crossori air fryer and if you look there's no way you can fit two of two halves in there not a chance so what you want to do instead is you want to be aiming for half of one like we've done and then you can always cook two halves if you want and then a good spray with extra virgin olive oil and then of course the salt and pepper And then last but not least, a little sprinkle of garlic powder. And wow, it's ready for air frying. So you probably want to know how long are we talking cook time? We found about 25 minutes, but we will be checking it and seeing if it needs longer. So 180 Celsius, 360 Fahrenheit, 25 minutes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a fork test to see if it's fork tender. If not, we're going to add on some extra cook time. And then press start. And we've beeped. And wow, look at that. That's what you call the roasted spaghetti squash. It just looks absolutely fabulous. 
So what you need to do now is you just need to fork it and see if it's fork tender and it is. So now, fork's normally a good way to get it out. So I'll that and I can move it forward and then you can see what it looks like. And then you might need a tea towel to do this, depending on how hot it is and how good you are. But if you look, wow, it's like magic. I love the way you fork a spaghetti squash and it just goes, just look like real spaghetti. It's just magical. Oh, wow, it's just great. So get yourself a plate so that the spaghetti squash that you forked, you can start loading up onto the plate. And then I'm having this with some meatballs and then we're having for starter some butternut squash soup. So the butternut squ squash soup's on behind me and it's just gonna make the perfect selection of my favorite fall foods. And then back to the forking again. And just think this is just from one half of a medium to small uh, spaghetti squash. So imagine if you're feeding more people, you could just batch cut and do two in a row or two halves. And then another great thing, if you head over to recipethis.com, what we've got is we've actually got a recipe for a Mexican casserole. And the way that's done is it's actually cooked in the spaghetti but so you could skip save the skin and then use it for that like we've done so remember this is just a half so it's not a lot but let me show you how amazing that looks it looks absolutely fabulous but i want to make it even better so what i've done is i made some homemade uh, tomato soup in the soup maker earlier it also doubles as a fantastic tomato sauce so we can just add a little bit of sauce on top and then even better we cook some air fryer frozen meatballs as well so then you can have your spaghetti and meatballs via the air fryer and the soup maker and it's much better for you, much lower in calories and carbs. And doesn't that look fantastic? You know, if, uh, if the rest of your family is having real spaghetti, maybe you're diabetic or you just can't eat carbs, then this is your fantastic plan B. I mean, let's try some of this spaghetti. Mm. Oh, it's really, really nice. Look at it with that tomato sauce. Let's check out these meatballs. Mm. Hubby had just bought me these, these meatballs and said how addictive they are and they're just so nice. Mm. So perfect. So for that, for an air fryer dinner, what do you think? I think it looks pretty damn good. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there.